Profits is proud to be sponsored by Game of Silks. Go to silks.io to get in the game. Real ownership, real races, real rewards. Here we go. It's your 2024 Gotham Stakes from Aqueduct. Here's your field with the scratch of the 1 and the 12. We have a couple horses here that are owned in the Game of Silks, Tom. Uh, who do you like on top going into the race? I, I I like the two horses in the middle, El Grande O and Bergen, as we were just talking about um, before turning on the cameras. El Grande O coming off uh, coming off a win earlier this month or, or previous month at Aqueduct, a, a little bit of a shocker there. And I like Bergen. Um, yeah, those are my my top two. Also, Lightline getting eighteen to one, a little bit of a shocker here. I think that's kind of an interesting play. I did not put that in my TDF. But, uh, wow, they are off. Here, They're here away, <laughs> and it's very sloppy. Uh, very sloppy is the first thing to notice. This is a cutback yes. to a mile, and you've got a couple horses like the number three, Deterministic, yeah. and your favorite, the number 10, Just a Touch, second time out. And it's the two, Maximus Meritus, who's a horse that's sired by Maximus Mischief, who shows a lot of really speed and has had a lot of success. El Grande O is another horse that uh, was right at the front as we expected and just a yeah. touch on the outside. What do you think so far, Tom? Yeah, I. it's – let me just check my setups here. I was expecting to see a lot of speed in this race. i got a couple horses that I like that are jam-packed in the middle that should be closers, deterministic, Bergen, light line, capital idea. Deterministic and is – a a little closer than I expected him to be. Just a touch is about where I expected him to see. I thought he might be close to the pace. And, uh, yeah, El Grande O and Maximus are right about where I expected. So now Deterministic falls back a little bit if he held a little bit for the, the big close. I think – I honestly think Just a Touch is going to fall back here. I was not real high on the favorite. We're going to see what happens. Yeah, and El Grande O, of course, was the horse that came down the stretch in the withers with the lead that got caught by Uncle Heavy. That race was at a mile and eighth. Now they're coming a mile, and here they come down the stretch. And El Grande, oh, again with that big kick. Let's yes. see if the horse can close like Uncle Heavy did. But in the slop and at a mile, this might be tough. Here comes Deterministic, the, oh, the horse. Oh, was slowing. Big uh, performance at Saratoga in his debut. Comes back in his second race and is going to take the Gotham Stakes. Wow. Deterministic, very determined. This is one of the horses <laughs> out of the Christophe Clement barn. It's been a yeah. little bit of time before we've seen some of these Clement horses come to the track, and that is a big performance. Yeah, I got more out of just a touch than I was expecting personally. I mean, I had him rated highly formula-wise, and I disregarded my formula, and now I'm paying for it, as usual. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Deterministic really came out there. El Grande, oh, faded more than expected. Maybe the slop finally got to him, but you can see right about here, starting to drop anchor a little bit. Uh, the three and the ten trying to find ways around him. Uh, the three deterministic, looking very strong there as he as he plows for the the finish line and and just a touch. I mean, coming off of a maiden special at I think six and a half uh, furlongs, looked pretty good there at a mile. I will say, had a lot down the stretch, uh, a bit more than I expected. So Brad Cox has him in good shape. Deterministic was a $625,000 Keeneland sale purchase. And the big thing that jumped off of the, the papers with Deterministic that we talked about on doubling down was the bullet workouts. Of course, most of those are one out of eight, one out of nine. Uh, but this horse has been working really, really well after the huge performance this summer uh, up at Saratoga and uh, had a little bit of trouble on that one, but did not have trouble closing here in this race. I was a little surprised that El Grande O uh, – Cutting back to the mile really kind of struggled there down the stretch at the end. Yeah, it could be the soup that he was running in, right? I mean, you, you saw the weather out there. Really difficult to judge any horse that struggles today looking forward. Also difficult to judge because, you know, what, what can you really tell coming out of the Gotham? Yes, you're going to get points for this race. Um, but, you know, it, it, it is a mile at a point where most of these stakes races that are gearing towards the Kentucky Derby are, are eight and a half to nine furlongs. Um, and sometimes you don't see the best class of horse. We had a whole bunch of Pletcher and Cox horses in this race, though. So this was getting loaded up with some of the top trainers. Doug O'Neill even had a horse in there as well. So this wasn't, you know, uh, we talked about years past seeing a Weyburn win, um, seeing horses of that level. It it looked like a stronger race based on who was entering horses. So I'm curious to see what comes out of this, whether Deterministic and Just in Touch are going to make their way up to the Derby or not, or if they're going to be a raised cane. We'll see. 
last question before we get out of here. Do you have any interest in deterministic uh, going forward on the trail based on this performance? You know, I think so. I think so. It was a deep field. Um, deterministic was pretty high on most of our lists. As you talked about the price tag, this is a horse that was bought with intention of being a high-level stakes race horse. Uh, Christoph Clement, love to see it. Uh, Joel Rosario is on the mount there. Uh, that seems like a pretty solid combo to me. I think I put more faith in this win than I do in a lot of the previous races that we've seen at uh, at the Gotham, right? This seems to be a stronger Gotham win to me. And I'm curious to see how this horse stretches out to uh, eight and a half and nine furlong now. That'll do it. Like and subscribe.